Did y'all see this story? This man, a Pennsylvania cop, a married Pennsylvania cop, got arrested for improperly committing ex-girlfriend to a mental facility. When I saw this story, it immediately brought up um, a book. A book came to This book is excellent. Women and Madness by Phyllis Chesler. This book speaks to how women have been deemed crazy in America simply for not conforming to gender roles because the husband got mad um, because they had because women had opinions. Women up until recently were literally able to be committed simply because a man said so. A husband could say a woman is crazy and a doctor, because most doctors in this particular time were men, would actually go along with it. A man, um, a man's word that a woman was crazy was enough to get her put into a mental facility or even lobotomized, meaning her brain was worked on and she became a vegetable. That was enough. So when I saw this story, this book, Women in Madness, came to mind. Now back to this story. A married Pennsylvania state trooper is facing false imprisonment charges after he allegedly um, detained his ex-girlfriend and committed her to a mental health treatment program under bogus claims. Ronald Davis, 37, was arrested Thursday on accusations he abused his authority to carry out the twisted takedown that left his former girlfriend improperly stuck in a um, medical facility for five days. He told her, I know you're not crazy. I'll paint you as crazy, leading up to the forced medical treatment the victim claimed, according to court documents. His quest to have his ex committed began on August 21st when he sought the help from his fellow troopers because he said the victim, identified by the DA as MF, had mental health problems, according to an affidavit. So all this man had to do was just accuse her and it was enough to get his fellow troopers involved. On advice from state police, Davis, off duty at the time, contacted county officials via his police email account and identified himself as a trooper to obtain an order after he submitted the purported text from her in which she threatened supposedly to unalive herself. This is his mugshot. The video for this was crazy. It it was completely unnecessary. This dude is very, very much bigger than this woman and was using wrestling moves to pull this woman down. Once he got the order approved, the trooper went after the woman whom he only dated for four months. Remind, just a reminder, he is married. Um, He said, I'll take care of it myself. Davis and a civilian companion found the victim in a picnic area at a state forest where he picked her up and carried her to his car before the two struggled on the ground. Davis is seen sitting on top of her as she claimed he tackled her to the ground, according to the footage. And I don't know who was taking this video, but watching this man manhandle this woman is wild. But then the fact that he was able to get away with this really goes to show how people can take advantage of their power of authority, depending on their their profession. This is where she's sitting. I mean, he's sitting on her and she doesn't know why he is detaining her. This is where this man was using a wrestling move. Look at the position of his legs. He is using the full force of his body to take down this woman. And she was saying, I can't breathe as he was on top of her. This is the importance of video, because had it been a man's um, a man's voice against her as, with his power as a police trooper, he would have won out, especially, you know, the power dynamics and the, the way that people can use mental health to paint people, women as crazy. When the two got up, Davis restrained her as she repeatedly um, said that she didn't do anything wrong, according to the footage. Why are you treating me like a criminal? She said before the uniformed officers, plural, arrived and took her to this hospital. So MF appeared to genuinely lack understanding on why she was being restrained. She also suffered injuries to her forehead, torso, back, buttocks, forearms, knee and lower body, according to the document. So she couldn't get any answers. Imagine someone having a vendetta against you because y'all broke up and is able to use the power of his position to paint this person as crazy and that people go along with it without doing their due diligence on both sides. Imagine that. The ex-girlfriend was involuntarily committed and voluntarily committed for five days and did not display any 
kind of crazy thoughts during that time. She was she was released on August 26 and subsequently interviewed by the police. Once the cops saw an exchange of messages between the pair, they didn't think there was cause to force her into treatment. It took them five days to do their due diligence to exonerate this woman or to at least hear her point of view. Davis, who prosecutor said is married with the family, is facing charges of felony strangulation, unlawful restraint, false imprisonment, simple assault, recklessly endangering another person, and official oppression. He was remanded without bail following an arraignment on Thursday. So, like I said, this story is wild. It speaks to the the way that people can use their positions of power. You guys go ahead. Let me know what you think. Jump in the comments, like, comment, share.